بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Hope you all are fine with the grace of Allah Almighty Dear students, today I am going to teach you Word be English of grade 2 Students first recite the dua before starting the today's work Recite with me رب الشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحلو لقدتا من لسانی یفقہو قولی رب زدنی علما Now move towards the planner Today we are going to do the week number one. In week number one, we are going to do the revise all parts of speech and learn definition on workbook page number 29 to 36. Write down the date and day here. Now move towards the page number 29. Write down the date and day here first. Vivian parts of speech. English grammar is divided into different parts of speech which enable us to describe the function of a word or the words in a sentence. Now look at the different categories of the parts of speech. Number 1. Noun is a naming word. It can be the name of a person, koi bhi admi, place, koi bhi jaga, thing, koi bhi cheese, animal, koi bhi janwar, or idea, koi bhi khayal, or it can say that the noun can be the name of anything. Like this is a pencil, this is a noun, this is a book, this is also a noun. Now look at the more examples of a noun like ideas and feelings, love, friendship. In people, doctor is a noun, animals, dog is a noun, places, library, beach, Pakistan. Things, book, objects, house, floor. These are all the examples of a noun. Now move towards the verb. It describes an action or state of being. A verb is a word which shows an action done by a subject. There are the two categories of the verb. One is action verb or the doing verb. The other one is the helping verb. Action verb actually perform an action in a sentence and helping verb with the help of which we can complete a sentence. Found, draw, play, touch, eat, sleep etc all these are the example of the action verbs and can would is do or the examples of the helping verb. look here in these sentences Ali can draw a picture in this sentence can is the helping verb and draw is the action verb that performs an action in a sentence and Aisha is playing Ludo in this sentence is is the Helping verb and playing is the action verb. Now comes towards the pronoun. It is used in place of a noun. It is a word that is used in place of a noun. Pronoun. Replace a noun. I, me, we, our, you, your, they, them. The word that is used in place of a noun is known as a pronoun. Comes towards the next page. Adjective. It is used to describe a noun. It is used to describe a noun. It actually describes the kind, quality, which one, numbers, color of a noun. Now look here the examples of the adjective. What kind is it? Short, skinny dog. In this, in this dog is a noun and short, skinny is an adjective that is used to describe a noun. Beautiful floor. In this sentence, floor is a noun and beautiful is an adjective. Which one in is it? Old white house. Old white is the adjective and house is a noun. How many how many numbers are there? Three beers. Uh, beers is a noun and three is an adjective. What color is it? Bright red ruby. Bright red is the adjective. Here, how does it sound, taste, look, feel, smell? Adjective describe the these qualities of a noun. Adverb. Adverb tells more about a verb, adjective, or another adverb. It answers these questions: when, where, how, how much, why. Look at the examples of the adverbs. How things are done. Modifies a verb. Walks lazily. How someone walks lazily. Modifies an adjective. Really important. Really is an adverb and important is an adjective. Modifies another adverb. Very slowly. Very is an adverb and slowly is also an adverb. Students, the words that are ends with ly are always the examples of the adverb. Now move towards a preposition. 
it shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to some other words in a sentence like in on over near it actually tells the position of a noun where actually the noun is noun or the pronoun is look here in this sentence a beautiful bird is sitting in a garden on a wooden bench bird is a noun in the word in and on telling us where the word actually is he, she, he is in the garden and sitting on a wooden bench now move towards the conjunction it is used to join the words or the sentences together and examples of the conjunction are the and but so or because in is a word that is used to join that as that is joining word that actually join the sentences or the words but is joined the two opposite ideas so is used to join so is used as a consequences of anything or is used to join when there was an option between two things because is used to join when you are, when you are going to give in any reason related to anything today we have learned about the parts of speech how many parts of speech are there there are the seven parts of speech noun verb pronoun adjective adverb preposition and conjunction students you have to learn all the definition of the parts of speech with examples stay home stay blessed allah hafiz